Hello, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So as you guys know, we have some new scents that came out online at Bath & Body Works and in store. Uh, we also have the new Gingham collection. So I did want to grab a few of these scents um, to review for you guys. Um, they do seem really nice. So I'm excited. I did a um, online pickup in store order to get them as quickly as possible for you. So without further ado, let's talk about it. All right, let's talk about some gingham. So the reason I didn't pick these up originally, um, I waited for the sale, uh, was because original gingham isn't really my thing. I don't mind it, but I don't love it. And um, the only gingham that I kind of liked was gingham love, I believe. But even that one on the dry down, all ginghams kind of smell like original gingham. And it's just not my favorite. I know a lot of people love ginghams, but ginghams, the gingham. Am I even saying the word right? English is my second language, that's my excuse. But these are so pretty, so I picked up the gorgeous version, I picked up the vibrant, and I picked up the fresh. Um, and then I also picked up the new um, amethyst waves and emerald mist. Um, I didn't pick up saltwater, saltwater breeze because that one's a repackage, it's been out multiple times. I don't personally remember liking that one. I think any salty fragrances can be a little musky or something like that. I don't know. I'll have to resmell it, but I just know it's a repackage, so I wasn't really that interested. So let's start with some gingham. So the one that I was most excited for was gingham gorgeous because anything pink usually smells super fruity and sweet and that is definitely my vibe. So this is pink strawberries, peach nectar, peony blooms. It's really pretty. I don't think it's anything super special, but it's really pretty. So on first spray, I definitely get like strawberries and a little bit of like almost a, a green note. And then as soon as that alcohol kind of goes away, I get a really pretty peach as well. Super juicy and fresh and definitely peony heavy. Like you get a very nice, fresh, girly floral. It has a little bit of like greenness, the same one that gingham kind of has to me. But that peach and that strawberry, I think, is my favorite part of this. It's a very girly, like, fresh, clean combination. I think it's really beautiful. I think this is definitely my favorite from the ginghams that I have smelled. But I will say on the dry down, this does give me original gingham still. Which is the point. It's supposed to. Um, but it still has that pretty strawberry peachness. But that peach kind of goes away over time and I get mostly original gingham. So... I don't know, it's really pretty. With peach scents, I also have to be careful. Let me know if you agree, but some peach scents can tend to smell like cat pee sometimes. This one I don't think does. It has like a very natural peach to it. It almost kind of reminds me of the peach in, was it peach like Prosecco macaroon? I don't know, some, something like that. It kind of reminds me of the peach in that. But it's a uh, very pretty, very fresh, floral green. Like it's a very girly and pretty scent, um, but because I don't like original gingham, the dry down isn't my 100% favorite. All right, let's talk about Gingham Vibrant. These bottles are also so gorgeous. Like, look at this, so pretty. So this is Wild Blackberries Candied Violets Soft Vanilla. They come out with a lot of blackberry and vanilla scents. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but there's so many. This one I thought I wouldn't like because I'm not usually a fan of vanilla and blackberries or vanilla and fruits mixed together in general. It's kind of like a nauseating, yogurty feeling. But this is really sweet. This reminds me, it's almost creamy. It reminds me of those candies. I'll put up a picture. They have like strawberry ones. I don't know if they have blackberry ones, but it kind of reminds me of that because it's this like candy-like artificial creaminess to it. And the more this dries, dries down, the more I like it. Is it something that I need to add to my collection? I'm not sure yet, but it's so pretty. It literally reminds me of those candies. Like if you imagine what those smell like, but a little fresher with original gingham in it. That's what it smells like to me. Yeah, I really like this one. Um, I think I actually like it more than Gorgeous, surprisingly. I don't know why. But it does kind of remind me of like their other like blackberry and vanilla fragrances, but this is like the best one in my opinion because I like fresher fragrances. So if you like fresher fragrances, I highly recommend this one. But it's creamy. Like it does smell like those candies, a little artificial, but yeah, I'm actually a fan. I don't know if it's something that I need, but I'm surprised that um, I actually really enjoy this one. This one I was super excited for too as well. This, was, this is the Gingham Fresh. I can't talk, it's so early, I'm sorry. This is Juicy Pear Sparkling Clementine Fresh Daisies. Daisies, what has daisies in it? Aqua Kiss has daisies in it, right? I love that one. Sparkling Clementine, always a good one. Juicy Pear, always a good one. Anything with pear is so delicious. 
and this color and packaging is absolutely gorgeous. So this one, you guys, this is great. This is my favorite out of the three. It smells really clean, like coming out, it has this like clean fruity floral scent, like super fresh, super clean, a little refreshing. That pear is really pretty. You get a little bit of clementine, but it's not like super citrusy at all. I mostly get like a pear daisy scent. Mm, so pretty. Um, you know what at first this made me think of? I don't know if you guys remember Electric Poppy from Victoria's Secret. That was one of my favorites. That one was almost sporty. I don't get a sporty vibe from this, but I get a similar scent profile, like a very pretty, de like, I don't know, that one was poppy, but a very pretty floral with some pear, but there's been so many pear fragrances, so I thought it would be a very repetitive, fresh pear scent, but there's something so sweet in there and so fresh from that daisy too, that it is gorgeous, you guys. Such a gorgeous scent, um, definitely my favorite. If you like fresh scents, and you like a nice fresh girly floral, do you like pear? You will love this because it does have like a sweetness in there and it reminds me a little less of original Guillaume. I don't know if this would be a long lasting one though, but this is definitely my favorite out of all of them. Guillaume Fresh is drying down to very much a green floral, which I was hoping it would stay a little more fruity. All right, let's talk about Amethyst Waves. Also pretty packaging, although this kind of stuff I don't necessarily like. It kind of reminds me of like, do you guys remember back in the day when everything was like space, like related, like everything had space on it. Cats in space, pizza in space, like everything was in space. Um, for some reason that's what this reminds me of, even though it is like the amethyst, like, I don't know. This is Dreamberries Wild Blooms Soft Sandalwood. Now this one, this one, when I smelled it, I was like, it smells like an amethyst. Like, this is what an amethyst smells like. And I know that sounds so silly. It's kind of like how things smell purple or smell pink. This smells like this. It's almost got this like artificial creaminess to it that makes me think of like a rock that has like all these swirls and colors in it. It's like an artificial, I don't know, is it is that sandalwood maybe? It's like a soft sandalwood fruity sweetness with like this like artificialness that's like creamy. It almost smells a little plasticky. I think that's where I get that like like soft sandalwood plastic berries, maybe. It's definitely a little bit of floral. It's not for me. It has this like weird artificialness, like plasticiness that I don't vibe with. But if you're into amethyst, like definitely gives those vibes. But yeah, it's definitely like a sandalwoody creaminess, um, plastic artificial berry kind of scent. Um, I don't mind it, but it's not one that I think that I want to add to my collection, which, you know, is unfortunate because I think these are really cute. All right, and the last one is Emerald Mist. So this one is Fresh Rainfall, Sunkissed Pear, Blonde Woods, another pear scent, super fresh. I don't even know what I'm smelling. Definitely a little bit of like those blonde woods, but it's not like woodsy necessarily. It's almost like that rainfall, that fresh rainfall has a scent, but it's not just the water. It's not like misty. It's also like the entire environment of like a waterfall where you smell the rock, you smell the water, you smell the greenery, like kind of all of it. You definitely get a little bit of pear, but it's weird because I almost get like more of a citrus in here than the other one that actually listed citrus. It almost has like a tangy pear. Is tangy the right word? Like almost a little sour. Maybe that's why I'm thinking of citrus because I would think it was like citrus blonde woods and like a rainy greenery. Or peach. Peach has this like puckering kind of smell to it. So it's almost like that pear has like a puckering, I don't know. I like it, it's nice. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's, it's interesting, yeah. I don't know, I like it, but I, I'm not in love with it. And I feel like it reminds me of something else that's peach related that I've smelled before. It almost smells like candy now that it's drying down. I don't know, it's really interesting. It definitely has that blonde woods and like a mouth puckering pear in there. Um, and definitely like a rainfall kind of vibe. It's nice, um, but I don't know. It also has like a little bit of an artificial note as it dries down. It's interesting. Okay, you guys, so I think my favorite out of all of these has to be the Guillaume Fresh. 
it does have a little bit of a sporty vibe. I don't know, it's just really pretty. I love a good, fresh, girly, feminine scent, and this is definitely fresh, but girly and like gentle and feminine at the same time. So yeah, I think this one's gotta be my favorite out of all of them. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know which ones are your favorite, which ones you grabbed, if you got anything during the sale, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.